Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Carlos. Fine. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Jorge. Good evening, everyone. How are you guys? Pretty good? Fine, fine, fine. This I'm is fine. a good day at work. Oh, good. Uh, this is day of paid. Okay. Oh, paid. <laughs> ah, yes, it's true. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, so this is a happy day. This is definitely a happy day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good. Um, I see some people connected, but I'm not sure if they're there. I don't know if Asalia is there. Hello. Hello, Denise. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. And you, teacher? I'm good. Thank you. How how uh, was your day? I was really hard today. <laughs> A lot of work for mm -hmm. today. But yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, but I finished. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's good. That's 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 yes, very positive. I, I finished all my tasks, so that's oh, good. Good. <laughs> good, 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 excellent. And um, just like um, what I said, it it um, it helps that today is a uh, payday, right? Yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah. So there's. So at least you you know that you know it's a hard day, lots of things to do, but hey, you have money. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes up for that. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good. Um, oh, there's Vilma. How are you, Vilma? Hi, Hello, good night. Uh, good. good evening. Good evening. Can you can you hear me? Vilma, can you hear me? Because I, I think you're having problems with the internet or something. I'm not sure. Es que ahorita se me está trabando, pero acá no tengo. Pero yo no speak English mucho. Okay. Yeah, now I can hear you better. Can you hear us? No, I think she's having a problem with that. Okay. All right. Hello, Sara. Hello, Tisha. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. How How was your day today? Yeah. Uh, my day is uh, a lot of work or job. A lot of work. A lot of work. Wow. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, because it was the last day of the month, right? That's why. Okay. Right? You, you had a lot of work to do because it was the last day of the month. I don't understand. Okay, so today is, is May 31st. It's the last day of the month. It the last month okay today what, what day is yeah. today is uh, um what did i say uh-huh okay and the date oh, not even okay. what is the date today what is what is the, the date is day? the date date uh, mm -hmm. Is um thirty three. Thirty first. Thirty first. Yeah, thirty first. Okay, so it's the last day of the month. The last. It's the last. No more. 
there the, today there's no 32 33 34 35 no today is the last day of may tomorrow june tomorrow june yes right okay it, so today from, right from finally day the month exactly it's the last day of the month uh, today oh. is the last day of the month finish may finish okay. finish yeah so okay it's a busy day today because it's the last day of the month. Right? Do, do you understand? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought so. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, Ana Victoria, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Bye. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good. Yes, I am fine. Okay, good, good. Um, how was your day? Um, my day. Mm -hmm. I was in my home oh. for um repairing. No, sé cómo decir, reparando. Oh. Repairing. Uh huh. Repairing the. I I don't know. I don't know. How do you say cisterna? Cistern. Uh, okay. He might help because. He, oh, but but re repeat it, repeat it. Don't just yes, yes. I was in my the, in my house um, supervising the yeah. repairing the, the cistern. Oh, ah, yeah, the cistern. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, I only was work in the morning. <laughs> you were only working in the morning. Only, uh, yes, I only working in the morning. Mm, okay, <laughs> nice, nice. That that uh, yeah, that that sounds like that sounds like a good day. <laughs> Just yes. only supervising. That's pretty good. Yes, <laughs> because I need. I need my sister. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Water, no, no, the water is, no, is continued. The service no is continuous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, you definitely need the, you need a cistern. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. I know uh, in El Salvador, it's, it's, a, it's not, that's a big necessity. The, the last three years, the water, water uh -huh. is, the water is more complicated because the service is very bad. I don't know. Where do you live, Ana Victoria? Lourdes. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I think there are uh, a lot of. I don't know how to say deforestation. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 You're you're right. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um okay. Um all right, guys. I just want to mention I see many people that are connected, but with their cameras off. So I don't know if you're there. Um Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Pues ya empezamos a ver a todos. Edith, are you there? Edith Adilia? Present. Okay. Oh, good, good. Yeah, we couldn't see you before. Okay, good. Ah, Raquel, you're still having problems with your camera? Yes. Okay. Bye. Um, pero no le, Raquel, no le molesta eh, en su conexión? No, escucho bien. Solamente es la cámara. Okay. Bye. Entonces, hagamos una cosa. Manténgala así, um, aunque, aunque tal vez no se mire del todo perfecto, pero manténgala así. Ok. Si, 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 si no le está dando problemas. Uh, con la conexión, entonces mantengamos la cena, no hay problema. Ok. 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 
Eh, Sergio. Ah, ahí está. Ok, perfecto. Ok, very good. But, chicos, um, quería antes que nada eh, hacer ahí el recordatorio. No sé si ustedes ya leyeron um, el recordatorio que se les mandó en el WhatsApp. Si no han tenido la oportunidad de leerlo todavía, les recordamos de que estamos ahorita ya en periodo de reinscripción para el siguiente módulo. O sea, para el módulo 4. Y entonces lo que se ahorita se está pidiendo es uno, la solicitud. Y obviamente para el próximo módulo y la planilla. Um, perdón, déjeme asegurarme. Sí, es la planilla del mes de abril que se, que se está pidiendo. Entonces, eso es todo lo que necesitamos de parte de ustedes. Así de que yo sé que a veces, por ejemplo, con lo que tiene que ver con, um, con la planilla, tal vez no está dentro de sus manos a veces eh, obtenerla, pero si ustedes pueden estar como pendiente de eso, ¿verdad? Pedirle ahí a, a sus superiores, ¿verdad? Estar ahí constantemente preguntando. Y por supuesto, el, la solicitud también. Eso creo que sí pueden fácilmente hacerlo ustedes mismos. No sé si, si, si su empresa les... Um, ¿Cuál es la palabra? Eh, no sé cómo, cuál sería la palabra. Pero uh, hay, hay, hay ciertas empresas que dicen, no, no, nosotros lo vamos a hacer. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Pero uh, si es así, bueno, no hay problema, pero uh, en, en ese caso su trabajo sería de estar como ahí pendiente, ¿verdad? Y se preguntando, mire, ya la enviaron, ya la enviaron, ya la enviaron. Entonces, pero si no, si ustedes mismos lo pueden hacer, entonces eh, les pedimos de que, uh, de que lo, lo llenen y, y lo entreguen, ¿verdad? Llenen la solicitud lo entreguen y solo estaríamos pendiente ahí de, de recibir la panilla de abril. Okay. No sé eh, si ustedes están, alguien está teniendo ahorita problemas para poder conseguir alguno de esos dos documentos. No, eh, uh -huh. no yo tendría que hablar con, con el licenciado de, de asistente de recursos humanos. Uh -huh. Solamente eso, porque él ya está pendiente de, mí, de mis documentos. Ok. Solamente. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto, muy bien. Eso, eso suele de ponerse de acuerdo con él y a ver qué, qué tal. A ver qué okay. me dice. Uh -huh. Excelente, excelente. Y, Denise, ¿qué hay en su caso? ¿Al, ¿Algún problema? Eh, no, de hecho, bueno, el mensaje lo recibí ya tarde y ya no estaba trabajando, entonces ya no okay. lo puedo sí. comunicar con, con sí. él. Ajá, pero yo mañana consulto, pero creería yo que, que ellos hacen el trámite. Ok, ok, perfecto. Entonces, eh, como les decía, en este caso, si hacen el trámite directamente, lo único que se les pide es que, que estén ustedes pendientes de que sí se mande, ¿verdad? Entonces, porque a veces lo que sucede es de que las empresas tienen tantas cosas que hacer, ¿verdad? Tantos empleados y todo, y se les olvida. Entonces, um, lo que les toca a ustedes es ir constantemente recordar, mire, ya lo mandó, ¿qué pasó con esto? Y así por decirlo, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, no sé si hay alguien en particular que tenga alguna situación en particular que, que, le, esté, que le pueda dificultar el mandar eso en cuanto antes. ¿No? Ok. Bueno, entonces eh, acuérdense que si ustedes estén pasando por alguna situación que, que les, les esté mm, dificultando el, lo, la, o conseguir esa documentación, solo por favor avísenos y así nosotros podemos ver cómo les ayudamos. Porque resulta que si, si nosotros um, recibimos la documentación tarde, entonces, 
significa que vamos a empezar el próximo nivel tarde. ¿Verdad? O sea, entre más tarde, o sea, sí, entre más nos tardamos para poder uh, obtener los documentos, más, más tenemos que esperar para el próximo módulo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, porque acuérdense que también tenemos como un nivel mínimo para cubrir. O sea, tenemos que, eh, no podemos empezar el curso solo con unos cuantos alumnos. Necesitamos eh, una cierta cantidad de participantes para poder abrir el módulo. Entonces, por eso es de que se les pide que, que todos hagamos ahí el, el esfuerzo para poder meter sus documentos lo cuanto antes, porque si no, entonces también nosotros, no solo nos afectamos a nosotros mismos, sino que también a, a nuestros compañeros, ¿verdad? Así de que eh, si pueden ustedes hacer eso, eh, bueno, entre esta semana y el principio de la próxima sería lo ideal, ¿ok? Ok, bueno, habiendo dicho eso, let's start with our attendance. So, just making sure that, please, if you can have your... Um, your camera's on and be ready to um, to answer present when I say your name. Okay, um, just a moment. Okay, Ana Victoria Galán. Present teacher. Present. All right. Thank you. Um, Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Carlos Alberto Orrego. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. The present is. Okay, very good. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Diana Jamilet Maravilla. Se encuentra. Uh, Edita Dilia Hernández. Present. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Emerson Adiel Reyes. Ismael Ernest Goyat. Ismael. Present. All right, wonderful. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Marlon Daniel Miranda. Present. Excellent. Maya Elizabeth Lazo. Present. Excellent. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Great. Sandra Ivet uh, Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Sara Rachel Salazar. Present teacher. Oh, no, no. Uh, Sergio Chamorro Calero. Present teacher. Great, right. and Vilma Elizabeth Akian. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, very, very good. Oh, uh, se nos fue uno. No? Oh, no, no. Yes. Oh, no, so it's been. Okay, all right, so um, what we'll do right now is um, start with our PowerPoint presentation, and I need you to tell me if you are able to see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. 
Yeah. Yes, I can see the chair. Okay, great. <clears throat> So this is the course English for Work program. It's day number 12. And today is Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's start. As always, a reminder of how you can answer um, when I when the teacher asks you any questions. Remember, the idea is to practice English. So you can answer in English. So you can say, excuse me, can you repeat that? Or can you speak more slowly? Um, how do you spell? What's the answer for number four? How do you say, and then the word in English? And what does, and then you say the word in um, mean? Yeah, what does it mean? And finally, how do you pronounce this word? Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. So the exercises we have to begin with, we have write five information questions in the simple present and use the verbs in the box. So the, we have the, the boxes, the verbs in the box are oversee, manufacture, supervise, be in charge of, and network. Do you remember these words? Yes, teacher. Yes, I yes. remember. Yes, miss. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary there in case somebody forgot the meaning of those words? Uh, I forgot the meaning of oversee. I, I Over, don't okay. remember. Oversee is like a supervise. Okay. Okay. Yes. Anything else? No, everything is okay then. No. Okay. All right. In that case, um, right now, I'm going to give you some minutes, a few minutes to write uh, sentences using these verbs. Okay. And the sentences will be in the simple present. i sorry, guys. Okay. So make sure that we are using the simple present. Okay. Any sentence using the simple present? Okay, so I'll give you about five minutes individually to do it. Thank you. 
Ya lo va a preguntar a la Cindy. Okay, are you guys ready or do you need more time? Anybody need more time? In my case, I need more time. More time, okay. All right, I'll give you more time, no worries. Yes, teacher, I need more time. Okay. Ya pagué la planilla de NIS. Ya pagué la planilla de NIS. Ahí te mandé el comprobante. Ya solo nos está haciendo falta la... Do you guys have any questions about vocabulary or anything like that? You can ask me.
teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a Yeah. What is the difference between oversee and supervise? Um not not really there's not very much of a difference oversee is a little more formal than supervise and i would say oversee is like um it 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 covers more of an, a bigger area i guess like okay. yeah but but it's pretty much the same thing okay teacher thank you yeah more yeah like oversee means like like there's a bigger area to supervise like but it's pretty much the same thing okay thank you mm -hmm. okay are you guys ready now Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Anybody need more time still? Okay. All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna put you guys into breakout rooms to be able to share your sentences with uh, your group. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna put you into small groups. Okay, that way it will be easier to practice. Okay, um, just making sure, are you guys there? Ismael, Ernesto, are you there? Great. Okay. Yes, teacher, sorry, I'm taking my dinner. Oh, okay, all right, no problem. Enjoy your, your food. Um, uh, Asalia, are you there? Asalia? Ah, okay, perfect. And Edith? Adelia? Number one. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Just, I just wanted to know if you were there because that way I can include you in the groups. Okay? All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to open all the rooms. It's just sharing, just sharing your sentences. Here we go. Finish your sentences. I have three sentences. I do you want I to only, start? I only have four, but and I don't know who wants to be the first. Okay. Do um is aleatory. Do you supervise the sale of this month? Okay. I with the same word super with the same verb supervise or I pick another. You can pick another. Okay. Uh, are you in charge of the new department? Are you in charge? Hmm? Okay. Of the new department? Yes. Okay. 
in charge. Okay. Um, the second, um, what area do you oversee the last year? Okay. Um, I I make two questions with the same <laughs> with the same verb. <laughs> Wait. What? I do two questions with the same verb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, which in this time? Well, we can we can continue. Um, I share my five sentences. Oh, sure. The sure. the first yes. the first. Uh, does the engineer oversee the new group? Okay. Yeah. And number two. Do your company work in manufacture manufacturing products? Yes. Number three, do you supervise the new employees? Mm -hmm. Number okay. four, is she in charge of the financial department? Okay. Number five, uh, do they work, do they network in the training? Okay. Okay, it's cool. Okay. Mm, about you, Anna? I only read the the other sentence because the other question I, I don't have. Okay. And we can see the order mm -hmm. of the questions. Okay, the number one. Did you enjoy the training? And yes. Two, the manager didn't attend the seminar. Okay. The number three, the personal maintenance update the daily certification. Mm. Um, I don't know that is. Okay. Uh, everybody's finished uh, sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any yes, any any questions? Any doubts that you have before we continue? No. Okay. Then in that case, let's go on to the next part. No means. No? Okay, perfect. All right, so the next part uh, says here, order the words to create positive, negative, and interrogative statements in the simple past. So here we have some sentences, but they are in, they're scrambled. So you're going to put the words in the correct order to make sentences in the past in the simple past. The, the sentences can be either positive, negative, or interrogative, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'll give you a chance about five minutes there to do that.
If you have any questions about a certain vocabulary word, just let me know. No teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. 
Okay, great. Finish, teacher. Finish. Yeah? Okay. I'll give you one more minute for the people that aren't finished. Like one more minute. Okay. It could be thirty more seconds for those people that need more time. Okay, all right, so here we go. Um, the first one, I'm gonna ask uh, different people to help me. So we'll start with Sergio. Sergio, can you, uh, is, can you tell me the first one? Did you enjoy the training? Did you enjoy the training? Like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, perfect. All right, very good. Um, Ana Victoria, can you help me with the next one? Ah, okay. um, the manager didn't attend the seminar. Like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. And uh, Carlos Elicer, can you help me with number three? Uh, the number three is their personal updates the maintenance certification. Their what? Uh, their personal. Okay, their personal. Pers personal or personnel? Uh, personnel. Personnel, okay, their personnel. Uh, updates. Up, updated? Uh, up there, the, mm -hmm. the maintenance certification. The maintenance certifications. Like that? Ah. Uh, um, Is it like that or no? 
Yes. Okay. There's a... Yes. yes. Uh, Remember, personnel. Okay. Personnel. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, second. I'll do it like this because... Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, number four. Um, Maida, can you help me with number four, please? Mm, yes, teacher. And I think the number four is did supervisor exchange the business card? Did the supervisor exchange the business card? The business cards. Is that correct? Yeah, like that? Yes, the chair in the number three. Okay, just 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 okay, um, okay. Just give me a moment. Um, okay, for number four, Maida, notice that you gave me two words for the, and in the and in the sentence there's only one. So which one do we need to take away? Okay, the supervisor. Sorry. Okay, teacher. So, so which I one? Say, uh -huh. say, say. Can you give me the sentence again? The supervisor exchange that business card. Um, probably would work better. Did the supervisor, because we have to be specific, which supervisor? So did the supervisor exchange? Maida? Si. So, yes. Give me the sentence. Hello? Give me the sentence again. Um, the supervisor did did the um, supervisor supervisor exchange the business card no, no 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 okay we already used one the supervisor so we can't use another the so you're going to say did did Mayra, ¿me, ¿me ha entendido el cuál es el, 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 el problema de la oración? Um, que tengo dos veces el ya. Exactly, exactly. Entonces, por ejemplo, en español, ¿cómo se dice? En español, ¿cómo se diría? Um, En el supervisor, um, um, intercambio tarjetas de, de presentación. ¿no? Ok, ok, entonces eh, intercambió el supervisor tarjetas de, sí. de, de presentación. Ok, entonces no te intercambió el supervisor. No podemos decir intercambio supervisor. Porque tenemos que ser específicos. ¿Cuál supervisor? Entonces, el supervisor. O sea, sobre, estamos, uh, sabemos de cuál supervisor estamos hablando. Entonces, en inglés sería did did Change. Did the did the solo solo quítale un da. ¿Cuál es el que va a quitarle? The first uh, or the second? Um, the second. Okay, good. So read it to me without the second da. 
did the supervisor exam business card? Perfect. There you go. Okay, That's it. You. Okay. Do you, do you understand okay. why? Do you understand okay. why, Maida? Estoy en class. Hola. Hello. Do, do you understand why? Do you understand yes. why that's the answer? Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect, excellent. Thank okay, you. you're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome very much. Okay, Thank somebody you. had a question about number three? Teacher, number three. Um, um, I think I know your answer, your, your question, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, the in it, it's uh, I okay. Let me a second. In the number three, the sentence uh, should be start with there. Uh -huh. not not there right um yeah that's what or i was no. gonna yeah so technically speaking no matter it yeah um technically speaking it's it's okay to say it both ways we so we could we could say it like this which would mean in spanish su personal o sea hablando de la de un ser de compañía, o sea, su personal eh, actualizaron los certificados de mantenimiento, which is not bad. But yes, you are right. You can all, it's also possible to say the personnel updated their maintenance certification, which means el personal actualizó su Su sus certificados de mantenimiento. de mantenimiento. So bo both both have lo uh, have a logic. So you can do it both ways. It's okay. Okay. Okay, pero tengo tengo entendido que ese their es su pero de ellos, de, mm -hmm. de ellos mismos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Del mismo personal de mantenimiento. Eh, no, porque es, their personnel es como um, como el de ellos, o sea, hablando de más de uno. Por ejemplo, podríamos hablar acerca de dos compañías. So we have two companies and there, one company has personnel and another company has another personnel and both of their personnel updated the, man, the maintenance certifications. So like both grammatically and logically, the two are correct. It, okay, it, it, okay. You you can so yeah whatever you prefer. Okay. 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 Really, because like I said, both in logic and grammatically speaking, they're okay. The two, the two. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Asalia, help me please with number five. And didn't. Okay, I have a question for you before anything else, Salia. Is this a question? No. Okay, so it's not a question. So since it's not a question, we probably don't want to start with didn't. Probably didn't is a negative, right? Yes. So. My convention. My convention. Or make. Or. Sorry. Workmates. Work workmates. Did you work, say workmates? Workmates. Okay. Uh huh. Or made a didn't did not work. Didn't? At work, at the work, 
at the network. At the network. Hmm. <laughs> can you can you say that? Can you tell me that in Spanish? ¿Cómo lo, ¿Cómo lo diría eso en español? Compañeros de trabajo. Un noticio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Esto, yeah. No. The, the problem is that it doesn't make sense. Se habla de la red. Okay. So, let, let me help you. Let, let me start. First of all, what is, what is the subject? Let's start with that. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't worry, we're going to do it together. For me, subject is my good mate. Okay. Do you, do you agree, Acelia? Yes. Subject, sure. The subject, you, do you agree that the subject is my workmates? Well, my workmates. My workmates. Okay, so you agree. Okay, so my workmates. Mm -hmm. my workmates. Giving. But, yes, very good. Vamos bien. Didn't what? Giving. Convention. Okay, didn't is negative. So we need to Even. have a verb. What's the verb? Uh, Net network. Okay, very good, Asalia. Didn't network. Uh huh. Where? Network. Where? At convention. Sorry. At convention. At the convention. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Bravo. Excellent. See, you can do it, Asalia. Very good. Thank you, exactly. teacher. You're welcome. So my workmates didn't network at the convention. Okay. Any questions, guys? Did you have those answers? Same answers? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, so that's um, that part. And we're gonna do now the last part of this uh, <laughs> slide, which is what, uh, what info should be presented in a business card? And this, we can do it together as a class. Can you please tell me uh, in your opinion, what, what uh, the information that we have here do you think should be included in a business card? If you were going to make a business card, what information would you include? Would you put a, a photo of you in a business card? No. 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 Unless it's a different type of card. <laughs> but if it's if it's a business card, you don't want to put your photo on it, right? Because that's not that's going to look like you're doing something different. Okay, good. What about QR codes? Should we put that on a business card? I think, yes. I think it's important, mm -hmm. yes. It's, it, it's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so if you have, for example, a website that they can they can um a go to they can check it out like maybe you have a website for your company right or in like for example instagram a page or you know facebook page then you can put a qr code mm -hmm. good job mm -hmm. title is that important to put a job title yes yes yes, yes. yes. right everybody thinks so? that yeah Okay, yeah, for sure. We want to know what's your job position, right? Like, who are you in the company? What about social media links? Yes. Sure. 
Yes, yes. Yeah. Social mm. media link. Mail. No. It's, mm, it's, maybe. It's a, Mail address. Social media social, links. Social, link, social media links. It's a Facebook, Instagram, yeah, exactly. Twitter. Yeah. So do we want to put that in a business card? But the business card is no print, physical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not necessary. Yeah, but social media links would be like, um, for example, um, so if my, I don't know, if, if I have a, a, a business and a, my, my Facebook it would be like, I don't know, um, let's say my, my company was called um, Extend, Extended, for example. So it, then my social media link would be um, ex, like a, what would it be? Um, FB. Extend, uh -huh. yeah, FB, um, Extended dot com or something like that or you know so that the person can look me up in facebook company global mm -hmm. so yes or no social media links should we put those for me yes uh, but i don't know a, a link is is an enlace mm -hmm. um i relish okay. I think this is relation with click, click uh, of the mouse or no or uh, or a no. device. No, no, a, a link. Simply, a link could be like um, just okay. to give give you an example. Be share in digital. That's a link. Yes. So should we should we put social media links? Yes or no? Yes. We have one yes. 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 yes? Okay, good. Yeah, I agree. We need to put social media links. That way people can look us up on social media. Okay. Tagline. Sorry, perdón, alguien, alguien tenía una pregunta, creo. No, no lo dejé hablar. Yes. Is Thatcher is target in digital? Si la tarjeta de presentación es, es en digital y la otra es en físico. Business card. Do you, do you know what a business card is? What is business card? Tarjeta de negocios. Tarjeta de negocios. Tarjeta de oh, exacto, exacto. Eh, so, tarjeta de negocio más conocida como tarjeta de presentación. That's what we're talking about. O sea, una tarjeta que yo pueda entregar a alguien para que me contacte. Ajá, ah, esa era mi pregunta. Es, puede ser en digital, porque cuando es así en el correo, en digital, o sea, ahí se pone todos esos datos abajo, el correo. Pero ya físico, ya es mínimo. El, el que no, es, o sea, mi logo, mail, my address. So, okay, yes. so a business card would not have, in your opinion, they would not have that? I, was like, I don't understand your question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, more than anything, the business card is the physics, is the target. 
yes, business yeah. card, o sea, tarjeta de presentación, yeah. chicos, cuando, o sea, yo sé yes. que ahora las cosas están más digitales y todo, pero, pero aún así todavía hoy en día, en el 2023, cuando vemos a una persona y no tenemos digamos, eh, manera de poder hacer un contacto digital, tenemos tarjetitas en físico para poder entregárselo en las manos de las personas. Y eso se llama una tarjeta de presentación o en inglés, a business card. Business card formal, informal, it's in, uh, uh, email. If, if for, it's, it's more no, formal. For, forget about emails. We're Business cards, yeah. we're talking about business cards where you give to the person physically in their hands. Mm -hmm. Yes. I got okay. It. Yes. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so estamos claros que es un business card, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay. so. Yo tengo tarjeta de presentación. <laughs> Okay, Asalia, you have a business card? Yes. Can can you show us the business card? Name, my address, can, company can you, logo. Can you show us? Yes. Can you show right now in this moment? Can you show us a business no. card? No, no, in office. Oh, you have it in the office. Okay. All right, no problem. Bye. So right now we are I we are identifying what kind of information we need on a business card. Okay, bye. <clears throat> QR card codes. If if you have in a business card a QR code, they can easily go like they the person can scan the code with their cell phone and go to your website. So QR codes, good. Job title. The job title, so they say for example, Jessica Herrero, um, coordinator of the English online courses, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Social media links. So the person can find you on social media. So it says there the link that they have, they can put so that they, um, They can look you up in Facebook or in Instagram or Twitter. Okay. Um, acuérdense que no todo mundo tiene un, um, eh, un, una, un lector de QR. So you may want to put both things, exactly. right? A yes. QR code exactly. and the, the link to the social media. It's not It's, most, it's more common in the business card uh, social media links. Yes, exactly. Put the social media links because yeah. uh, it's, it's true. Yeah. Um, and uh, the cool, uh, anybody have a, in this, in this time, anybody is, uh, have a QR. Uh, Q, QR code. Q, Q, QR code. QR yes. codes, yeah, exactly. So you may want to put both, right? So one, and, and remember also because maybe the person wants to look you up in their computer, not in their cell phone. They want to look in the computer. So they, they're going to have to put in the physical social media link, right? To give an example. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, do you have... Perfect. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. So the so what has sent right now a picture of a business card. So in the business card, you will notice um, certain elements, right? So we have the name of the person and their job title. What's the job title? <clears throat> So, title. yeah, okay. So, what, what is the name of the person? Si se pueden, no sé si todos tienen acceso ahorita ahí a su WhatsApp y pueden ver ahí. Thomas Smith. 
the the name is Thomas Smith. Good, Thomas, Thomas Smith. Smith. Yeah, very good. Thomas Smith. And what is the job title? Graphic designer. designer. Graphic designer. Good, exactly. So now, uh, Thomas Smith did not put a QR code, but he did put social media link. What is a social media link? The email. The email, email and, and website. And exactly. Website. Yes. Exactly. Those are the social media links. So uh, your mail, your your G, sorry, your Gmail at name.com. That's the that's the um, the uh, website. Sorry, the pick up summer. The email and um, and the, the website is www.websitename.com. Okay. <clears throat> Estamos? Okay. So yes. far, so good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Tagline. Should we put a tagline on a business card? What is, uh, how do you say? Tagline. What do you refer to tag, tagline? What, yes. what, okay, so you can ask, what is the meaning of tagline? Or what is what the does, meaning of tagline? Mm, yeah, or you can also ask, what does tagline mean? Anybody okay. know what tagline is? See? No, I, I don't know. Slogans. Deadline. Exactly, it's a slogan. It's a slogan yes. of a company. Some Something oh, that's catchy. Slogan. Okay, so. Company. Should we put that? For example, I don't know. Let me think of a tagline, a famous tagline. Okay. Just do it. Okay, just do it. Something, yeah, that would be like a type of, of, um, of tagline. Yeah, just do it. Slogan, slogan is not in English. Slogan. Yeah. It's in okay. Um, okay, for example, bye. Le, le voy a poner un, le, le, I'm going to tell you a tagline that is very common. Eh, siempre al dos por uno. What is that? ¿De quién es eso? La sorbetería. La nevería. La nevería. Ya, ya ven, ese es un tagline. O sea, okay. yo no tuve que decirles de quién está okay. hablando. Ustedes ya sabían. Okay, that's a tagline. Okay. It's a slogan. Then. Yeah, it's, it's something, yeah, and it's it's something that's catchy that the person I can I easily identify and it's catch. Okay, because dos por uno, o sea, wow, o sea, everybody wants dos por uno. So that's a, it's a catchy phrase, <laughs> excuse me. It's a tag, it's a catchy phrase. So should we put a tagline in a business card? Yes or no? Um, yes, 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 miss. Yes, yes, I think yes, because um, it's the pen, it's the pen of the of the company. Depends on the company, yeah. uh, uh, for example, uh, how do you say agencia de publicidad in English? Uh, publicity. Agency. Publicity, agency. publicity agency, mm -hmm. right? For example, the, the those company, I I I think yes. Okay. And what, order. what what is what is the what is the what's the word? What's the goal of the or the objective of a business card? Present yourself, maybe. Mm -hmm. So why? For a future contact. Exactly. That's that's what we want. Business cards are for contact. That's it. We just want contact. 
we want a way to be able to contact the person. Is it marketing? Is business card marketing? Yes or no? Is that the purpose? Yes, it's marketing. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes. Because I show my I show my company the uh, to to the other person. Yes, but do it's, we it's, do we want to promote the company or do we want to give you a way of contacting the person? Is is okay? In other words, but let me put it this way: business cards. Is it about the company or about the person? About the person. About, it's about the, the person. person. Exactly. It's about the person. Business cards are a way of promoting the person. Okay. So, do we want to call attention to the company? Not really. Okay, so we what we want we want to know is how can I contact you? Because I'm interested in contacting you. Remember, especially here, we've been talking about networking. Okay, networking means to make contacts. So I really I'm not interested so much in your company. I'm interested in you as a person, because if I was interested in your company. I could contact anybody in your company, but I want to contact you. You're the important person. So do I want to put taglines in my business card? No. Probably not. Okay. Because then it's going to draw attention to your company. And in, especially in, if you're doing networking, you do not want to necessarily um, be calling attention to your company. You want to call attention to you, but not you as the person, you as the contact. Because if you wanted to, um, to call attention to you, the person, then we would have to include a photo of you. But we don't want to include a photo of you because it's not a dating site. <laughs> you, know, you understand what I'm saying? So we got to understand what's the reason why we're making business cards. We're making business cards because we want a, play, a way to contact the person. That's it. The important thing is the contact the person. Okay, so taglines, no, we really don't care about taglines. Mail address, should we include that in a, in a business card? Yes. Yes, yes, we do. We want to know if you have a place where I can physically go and see you. Yes, we want to include that. Should we put the name? Yes. Of course we want to put the name. That's that's one of the most important things. If we don't if we don't have a name, we don't know who to contact. Can we should we put the company logo? Maybe. Not really, Miss. It's it is. I I think it's the same of the town line because of the I contact me, not okay. my company. Or, right. You. That's right. What's important is. But I don't know. I don't know. Is is. Yeah. Is, it, it's, okay. So mm, yes, you're right. Mm, the most important thing is you, the contact. But. If I don't know who you are, like what company you represent, then you that may not be a good contact. I need to know who am I contacting? It, 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 where do you work? What, what 
what company because just to give you to give you an idea just to give you an idea i want to mm, okay bah. let's say <clears throat> you you your job is um you promote uh credit cards okay let's say let's let's imagine okay so yeah. i am i i will help you to get a credit card now credit cards work with with banks right but there are many many banks so if i want to if i want to get a credit card and i have many different business cards but none of them have the logo of the bank i may be calling this i may be calling many people of the same bank and then that's not going to be productive so i need to know which bank you work at so that i know okay i'm going to call this bank and this is my contact for this bank and I'm going to call the other bank, and this is my contact for the other bank. So I need to know where you work. I need to know what company it is. And for that, I need to put a company logo. In fact, in the picture that Jorge sent, can you see a company logo? Do you see it or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Right? You can see it. It's there. Yeah? You can you can see the company logo is like a little C, right? And it's like a hexagon with a C. It's a red hexagon with a C. That's the company logo. All right? Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. 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 yes, that makes sense. Perfect. Okay. Yay. Okay. I'm happy that you guys um, got this. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's continue then. Now we've got that finished. Let's go move on to the next part. Okay. Intro. Do you usually help your coworkers with their tag? Third tasks. What are tasks, by the way? Before we continue, I need we need to know what tasks are. What are tasks? It's a. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, 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 deberes in Spanish. Tareas. 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 Uh huh. Yes. So yes. So responsibilities that you have to you have to accomplish okay good so um do you often help your coworkers or do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks yes no or does somebody say no that's not my job <laughs> yes i do you do you do Denise? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Yes. Or you don't? Yes, Miss. Yes. yes. Everybody? Yes. You don't have to say yes. I'm just asking. No se sienten obligados a decir que sí, porque solo porque otros dicen que sí. Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. When I have time. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Anybody say, no, I'm not going to help them because I already have a lot of work to do myself so they can do their work. Anybody feel that way? No? I'm just asking because, you know, some people think that way too. I'm just, I just want to know. Can, mm -hmm. Yes, I can help, Miss. I can help. Um... Uh, to co-worker for your task, just one, uh, just one, two, 
to time, uh, to time. Okay. The best, yes. But uh, twice, the, the, uh, mm -hmm. twice, mm -hmm. twice, twice. Yes. And I uh, order, and the the order uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I I don't care. You, I say I, I, I say then I, I say then I, I say can't. then mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you 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 put a limit. You say two times and that's it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So choose wisely. Only I can only help you two times. So you choose because no more. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Do you often ask coworkers to help you with your tasks? So do you do you tell your partner, your your coworkers, hey, can you can you do me a favor? Can you help me with this? Like in Spanish, me echas la mano. Do you do that? Well, when I can do it alone, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? Do you do that? Yes, yeah, sometimes I do that. Sometimes you when do that. I have a lot of work, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes, me too. Me yeah. Too is, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Now. I want you to look at this, this mini conversation we have here. Um, we have a mini conversation and I need two volunteers to help me read. Who can be this girl here? I can help. Thank you, Denise. You can be her and who can be this girl here? Anybody. Doesn't have to be a girl. It can be anybody. So, so, solo uno, no, no tantos. Okay, just I just need one. No, no, por favor, que no, no se peleen. Me teacher. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go for it. Um, Denise and Anna Victoria. Okay. <laughs> Would you print out the budget file? Right away, Rita. Yay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary in that mini conversation? Budget. 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 Good. What is budget? Excellent. That's a good, good question. Anybody know what budget is? Presupuesto. Yeah, okay. So budget is um, when I decide how much I can spend. So it's like the limit of how much I can spend. Okay. Anything else? Any other words? Okay. All right, now I need two volunteers to help me with this mini conversation. Who can be this guy here? Me, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you, Sandra. And who can be this me, girl? Teacher. Um, uh, who? Uh, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. All right, wonderful. Sarah, you can be this girl here. Okay, go for it. Good in my opening the window. Sure, no problem. All right, very good. I like that. Okay, very good. So I, I, I like how, how quickly Sara was like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, good. Very, very good. All right, any questions about the vocabulary in this mini conversation? No, teacher. No? Okay, good. All right, so notice that asking someone to help you with your task doesn't necessarily, it, it could be about your job, like in the case of, um, of Rita, the, or Rita that asked for help about her job, but the budget file, but it doesn't necessarily have to be about work. In this case, um, this guy asked about opening the window. 
that uh, doesn't have to do with the job, but it's still something that you can ask a coworker to do. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about um, asking for help. So when we are asking or making a request, do you guys understand what a request means? Do you understand what a request is? It's like solicitar. Yeah. Okay. So how would you describe that in English? Asking for something. Yeah, exactly. Asking someone for something. Okay. So to make a request, we need to use, uh, use request as a verb. For example, uh, so the verb means to ask something politely. And that's very important it, because there are different ways that we can ask for something. But a request is specifically asking for something politely. That's important here, politely. Because I can say to you, um, Denise, uh, close the window. And I'm asking her to do something, but I'm not asking her politely. Okay, so a request is asking someone to do something in a polite way. Okay, for example, we can say, request a new phone, please. Okay. So I'm giving the instructions. Um, Denise, uh, maybe Denise is the, the one that is in charge of, um, of the, the, I don't know, um, maintenance, okay? She's in charge of maintenance and the phone doesn't work anymore, okay? So I say to Denise, Denise, can you, uh, so request a new phone, please. Notice? I gave her an order because I said just request, but when I said please, I made it polite. Okay. All right. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. okay. So we can, so request means to ask something in a polite way. Okay. So that's when that's when we are using polite as a verb. But uh, requests can also be used as a noun, okay? And in that case, what does, what does request mean? <clears throat> what does it mean? If you're using requests as a noun, what does it mean? something asked for. That's what it means. Okay, so our request is something that somebody asked for. Okay, for example, my boss usually has many requests for me. So that means that uh, my boss asks for many things. Okay, so Right here, I say, request a new phone, please. How do you say that in Spanish? Um, Solicita un nuevo teléfono, por favor. Good, very good. Solicita un nuevo teléfono, por favor. Solicita. So we're it's a using as a verb. And the other one, my boss usually has many requests for me. In Spanish? Uh, mi jefe tiene muchas peticiones. Oh. Yeah. Mi, mi jefe norm, uh, normalmente. Uh, usualmente. Usualmente. usualmente mm -hmm. Tiene muchas tiene, peticiones. Uh -huh. Para mí. Para mí. Mm -hmm. Good. Exactly. Okay. So, what I want you to do right now is think about your workplace. What request do people in your workplace 
workplace make. It doesn't have to be your boss. It can be anybody. I want you to write down five requests in your job, in your notebook right now. Okay, <clears throat> are we finished? Or do you need more time? More time? More time? Yes, more okay. time. Okay, no problem. We'll Thank give you. you more time. Okay, we're finished or do you need more time? Just, just I mean, I, I don't need you to write complete sentences. Just thinking of the request, just what do people request? For example, I need a new laptop. Okay, okay, very good. So they request a new laptop, very good. Just like that, simple, very simple. You don't need big sentences. Okay, are you ready? Do you have five requests that people make in your work? Yeah? Well, the boss usually requests the status of the projects. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so what I want, I'm gonna do is put you into uh, breakout rooms. 
small breakout rooms because uh, we'll, we'll only have like two or three people in each breakout room. And you're going to compare. You're going to share uh, the request and see if maybe the requests that your partner wrote down are like the same kind of ideas that you did. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's open the rooms. Carlos Lisser, are you there? Carlos Lisser? Ah, uh, maybe. And the number two, my boss requests me to sing a new work. Um, I request a new printer, my workmate request the carpet, and I request, I request a new computer. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't know if I can say my my requests. Um, the first one, my workmates always request me software license, software license, and my boss requests uh, monthly reports of my completed task. And the team's request help with the use of our software. And my workmates request feedbacks because they are really new in the job. And the other team's request request me join to meetings every day. Okay. Uh, I request bond paper to print document. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. paper to the print. Request. I need to request more paper to the print. Okay, Rachel, mm. do you have your first sentence? Um, I need to I... report this with, this with, Okay. This week. Check the receive emails, please. Check and receive emails. Email, please. Okay. My second sentence is I request you send me the most actual information about the product. I need you send me the most actual information about the products.
Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, okay, so did you find that at your job there are similar requests? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Okay, all right, good. Now let's actually find out how to make polite requests. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Oops. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's talk about making polite requests. There are two ways that you can make polite requests. Okay, the first way is using the word could. Okay, so you could say, instead of saying to someone can, you say could. It's funny how just a, a small little word changes everything. If you say can, you can, you can say can, valga la redundancia, but to make it polite, we need to use could. For example, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem. So you can, it, with all of these ones, you can replace the word can. I'm sorry, could by with, with the word can. But can is not polite. Can is just asking about an ability. So can you call me later? It's just asking, do you have the ability to, act, to, to call me later? But if I say, could you call me later? I'm asking for a request. Does that make sense? Do you see the difference between can and could? Yes, miss. Yes, yes. miss. Yes, yes miss. Yes. Okay. Good. So start a request with could you. Okay, so request is usually going to be directly to the, the second person. So we're going to say, could you, sorry, uh, could you, could you, could you. So it's usually going to be first, uh, second person singular or second person plural. Okay, followed by, well, let's take a look at it. Call. Make. Contact. So what do we follow it by? Base form. The base form is the better. Exactly, very good. So it's the verb, the base form. We always use the base form of the verb. Okay, so start a request with could you plus base form of the verb, of the main verb, right? And any complement phrase. So the complement phrase in this case would be me later. Okay. In this one, 10 copies of this paper. This one, the tech support, okay? So answer to request with could you are not normally yes, I could, or yes, I can. So if, if you say to me, teacher, could you help me with ex exercise? I wouldn't normally say, yes, I could, or yes, I can. So the ex what you expect the answers to be would be more like the actions that you request. Okay, or you can also answer short answers like, like what we have up here. So it's also possible to, or yeah, it's also common to answer like, sure, right away, no problem. But normally we're not gonna say, yes, I can, or yes, I could. We're just gonna say short answers like, sure, right away, no problem. Or things like, tell me, how can I help you? Things like that, okay? 
Does that make sense? Yes, miss. Yeah? Yes, miss. Okay, good. Yes. Another way that you can make a play request is by using this part, this, um, um, what's it called? This phrase here, would you mind? Okay, would you mind? So would you mind calling the plat, plat manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? No, not a problem. Okay, so would you mind? So we always start our request with would you mind plus, what do we use? The base form or the ING form? ING. ING form. The ING form, the verb. Right, exactly. So we're going to be using... Notice calling, calling, getting, sending. So all of those are in the ING form. Okay. Would you plus ING form of the main verb and any complement phrase? In this case, the, in the first sentence, the complement phrase is the plant manager. In this one, the complement phrase, an appointment with the HR for me. And this one, this box to the cleaning department. And again, the same situation with could, the expected answers for requests with would you mind are not usually no, I wouldn't mind. But they are the actions that are requested or short, Answers so like the ones above. So you would expect someone to do what you've asked them to do or to answer something like right away, in a minute, not a problem. So if you say to me, for example, teacher, would you mind helping with me with this exercise? I can say, of course, tell me uh, what, what what exercise do you need help with? Okay. Um, so you wouldn't, I wouldn't normally say, no, I wouldn't mind. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. So after having said that, um, I want you to work on this. Write polite requests you receive or give at your workplace. So I want you to think about what are the requests that you personally make at your workplace or the ones that people ask of you. And you're gonna do this actually for homework, okay? So for okay. example, make appointments. That would be maybe a request. Somebody maybe asks you to make appointments for them. Or maybe you ask someone to make appointments. Okay? So I need you to do this part for homework. Okay? Um, I actually, so let me... Um, copy this. And I'm going to send it to you guys uh, through the WhatsApp so that you guys can remember. Okay, and then we'll talk about this tomorrow. We'll, we'll use this in class tomorrow. Okay. Any questions, guys? No, miss. Okay, so I just sent you the 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 picture of the slide so you guys can do it as homework okay all right so we're going to finish off our class by taking attendance so let's start
Um, okay, so um, Ana Victoria? Yes, I'll teach you. Great. Um, As Asalia Melanie? Present teacher. Great. Carlos uh, Alberto? I'm here, Miss. Great. Carlos Elicer? I'm here, Miss. Excellent. Denise Alejandra? Present. Great. Um, Diana Jamilet? Present, teacher. Excellent. Um, Evita Dilia? Present. Great. Um, Emerson Adiel? Emerson? Okay, um, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present teacher. Jorge Ernesto, wonderful. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Marlon Daniel. Present. Great. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Mayra, today we would have um, the one on one uh, session, okay? Okay, teacher. Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Um, Sandra Ivette. Sandra? Present teacher. Okay, good, thank you. Sara Rachel? Present teacher. Sergio Chamorro? Present teacher. Vilma Elizabeth? Vilma? ¿Se desconectó, Vilma? Estaba conectada, ¿no? Okay. All right. Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. Um, don't forget to do the homework, and I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, Miss. All right. Take care, guys. Okay, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Right. You're Bye, welcome. Miss. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. All right, Maida. Hello. Hello, hello. hello. Um, are you outside um, or did you have a powder power outage? Mm. <clears throat> power outage. Is, 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 o sea, ¿se encuentra usted afuera o es que se, le, se fue la luz? No, teacher, es que lo que <clears throat> sucede es que no sé si recuerda que falté la vez pasada clases porque tenemos un familiar que estaba enfermo, entonces este, él falleció ahora y estamos aquí en la oh, vela, entonces ando como de allá para acá. Que lo lamento, Mayra, lo sí. lamento mucho. Si quiere, Gracias. entonces hagámoslo esto otro día, para un día que... Claro, que ok, no hay problema, entonces... Um, Ok, realmente lamento mucho lo sucedido, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, um, sí. Muchas gracias, profe. Ok. Ok, espero que gracias. todo pues salga, salga bien ahí. Ok. Yeah, All right, yeah. so have a good night y gracias por conectarse a pesar de, de la situación. Ok. All right. Ok, gracias. Take care. Muchas gracias. All right. Take Bye. Care. Bye. Bye.